Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you a step-by-step -step tutorial which you have requested in my recent Instagram reel. This step-by-step -step guide is going to help you a lot. So let's get started. Okay, so right now we are in Canva homepage. So here, first thing first, what we will do, we will go to Instagram post and select a blank page. Right now I'm selecting 1080 into 1350 pixels. So let's create a blank page. So we have created the blank page right now. So let me show you that what exactly we are going to use over here. So if you see in the page number two, I have added the image. These are the two images and uh, this is the logo which we are going to use in the design and these are the color palettes which we are going to use in the design right now and these are the fonts so the details about the color palette the font and the keyword for the elements i'll be sharing in the description so make sure you just uh, check that out okay so let's start the designing process so first what we will do we will create the beautiful background so as i told you always don't create the plain background always try to make it more interesting so what we will do we will first select the background then we will go to colors and here i am gonna select the first color this one okay so we have selected the color right now so next what we will do we will go to text and over here i'm just selecting a font but here i'm going to change the font so to change the font we will go over here in fonts and as you can see i have already added the font over here so it will show that what are the fonts which are over here okay i have to select the joyride so what i'm gonna do i am just creating the background with the help of the font okay so i am writing preschool okay because we are creating the design for preschool so we will write down preschool okay so i have written down the texts next what i will do i will select the text and i will go to effects in effects i'm gonna select the hollow effect because i just need the outline of that text for the background okay so let's decrease the thickness first so let's keep it to somewhere around 15 okay next we will go to text color and select the white color for this but we will decrease the transparency of that because we are just using this one for the uh, background okay so first let's fix this one so i am increasing the size of it because i am using it for the background i am keeping it over here right now let's keep it over here again okay? like this next we will duplicate it to duplicate you can press in your keyboard command plus d like this and we will make little bit of changes i'm just keeping it over here like this okay next what we will do again we will select both of them and duplicate okay and bring it below the second line yeah okay? like this again duplicate it will again come below that automatically again duplicate it will come over here okay so right now you can see we have completed it but you can see that there is some space so what we will do we will select all the text like this and we will increase the size of it so that it will cover the bottom part of the page also okay so that is done we have covered the bottom part also and the top part also so anytime you need the adjustment you can adjust like this i'm adjusting so that the right side of the page should be also covered okay so it is covered we have selected all the text so you can group them also like this and next we will go to transparency and in transparency we will decrease the transparency to 30 percent okay like this as you can see we have created a beautiful background so we will start adding our image so let's take this image i'm just duplicating it and keeping it over here like this okay so anytime you are adding the image i just try to add it from the bottom like this and i will play with it so that it will look good okay this size but here i will bring it to the right side like this because i have to write the text over here later we can adjust but uh, let's keep it over here like this okay so this is done so to make it more interesting at the bottom part of the design we will add the gradient at the bottom 
so i always suggest that don't just go to the element and select the gradient always try to create your own gradient from a scratch so to create the gradient just select a shape so i'm selecting this one just select the color which you want to apply so i want to apply this color because it will match with the background and it will create a beautiful effect below the image okay so let's first fix it over here for right now let's keep it over here next to create the gradient we will go to this plus icon add a new color and here you'll be having the option to select the gradient okay just select the gradient but you can see canva has already added the second color but we don't need second color so what we will do first first select the second color and decrease its transparency to zero so you can see this is not transparent and this side it is transparent but here we will have to change the color because whenever you are creating the gradient in these type of situation try to use the same color it will look good okay we will select the color pick a color option and we will select the first color only now you can see it is looking good but here is only one problem this side it is not transparent and this side it is transparent so we will change the position of that so to change the position we will go to color again we will select the color which is transparent and here you can see we are having different type of a style so we need this one but here the transparency is at the bottom so we are not gonna make other changes just select the color hold and bring it to this side just change the position of the color and the transparency okay now you can see the bottom part is not transparent but top part is transparent okay so we have created the gradient from the scratch so it is looking good so we will increase the size of it like this let's keep it over here like this and it's done okay now we have created the background we have added the image and we have added the gradient also which is looking good so we will play with the image because whenever you are using any image in canva try to do little bit of adjustment so that it will look more beautiful okay so we will select the image first and we will go to edit in edit we'll go to adjust and we will do little bit of adjustment only okay so i always try to increase the brightness because right now you can see the brightness is not good let's keep it 10 and increase the contrast like 5 then shadow you can decrease it 10 then here i use like saturation because i need it more colorful so let's keep it to 10 for vibrance we are keeping it 5 so we have done the adjustment with the image so you can see this is how the image is looking right now it was looking like this before little bit dull and not that much colorful but right now you can see it is more colorful and looking beautiful okay so that is done we are done with the image so let's start writing our main headline so to write the headline here i will go to app in app we will search for text studio maker so the first option will come and we will have to select that one so this app comes with beautiful looking 3d text graphics in canva and you can see basically it is having free version also and the paid version also like you can see these are premium one these are premium one and uh, these are the free one so here we are going to use the free one so you can search also that what type of font exactly you need so for this design i am writing the comic you will find the comic type of font okay so you can see beautiful looking text effects are there so we are going to scroll a little bit down and we will search for the font which i'm gonna use over here in this design so this one is free one so i'm gonna select that one and i'm gonna start writing our text so my headline is like uh, ready to be a business owner so we will write one by one okay so this is the first line so what i will do i will add it to design okay once you will click it will come to design okay so i am keeping it over here right now next we have to write the second text that is ready to be a business owner so business so i'm writing the headline in three different lines that's why i'm writing like this okay so the first line is ready to be a second line is business and third line will be 
honor okay and here i'm adding the question mark okay so let's add that one also so we have added all the text over here so we will adjust it but first let's change the color of it so we will change the color from here let's select the color first we are changing this one i am using the yellow for that so for these i am gonna use this color so we have changed the color of every text over here so we will start adjusting it so let's keep it like this right now so here i am just using the different angle for that so let's keep it to five right now so for this one also we will keep it to minus five here also we will keep it to minus five okay so always remember the numbers whenever you are changing the angle of any text element or image in your design okay so let's keep it like this we will decrease the size of it a bit and like this let's keep it over here like this and this one we will bring over here like this okay so we will do the adjustment and we will select three of them either you can group them like this and do the adjustment like this okay so i'm keeping all of them over here like this okay so you can see we have added the headline ready to be a business owner okay next what we will do we will add our subheading which will be over here so to add the subheading i'm gonna use this one but i will show you how exactly you can find that one in element so in element if you will go and search for blank note with pin okay just search for that one the first option photo will come and this one we are going to use so here we already have used the minus five degree so here also we will use the minus five degree okay like this that's why i told you to remember the number whenever you are playing with the angle of anything in the design to make it look beautiful okay so let's keep it over here for now like this we will adjust the image if it is touching these images or element select the image and let's keep it little bit on the right side okay because i just want to increase the size of this one little bit okay let's keep it over here i have selected this image because uh, you can see the shadow is already in the png and it gives a beautiful looking vibe okay so right now our design is looking like this so we will start writing our text so to write the text we'll go to text i'm gonna select this font but here we can change the font because we have already added the font in the second page so you can find the name of the font and all in the description okay so i will start writing the text so the text is like open your own preschool in california investment forty five thousand dollar okay so let's write this one by one right now i'm writing this one so this one then uh, we are going to change the alignment on the left side and we will go over here in a spacing in a spacing i'm gonna decrease the space between first line and second line okay because that is not looking professional so we will decrease like this and here also i'm gonna use the angle like five minus five degree okay like this so we will decrease the size of it because we have to write other text also okay so i'm gonna select the same text command d so duplicate next i will write down california okay so that is done we will select that one and i'm gonna change the color over here so i'm selecting this color and increase the size of it like this like this okay so you can see it is looking like this next only few text are left so we are going to write that one that is investment forty five thousand dollar only so this is the text we will increase it so that it will come in one line like this and we will decrease the size of it let's keep it over here we'll select all the text like this and bring it to the center of that element or image you can see that is png image so we will adjust if it is needed to increase the size of it we will increase the size of it like this and we will adjust it like this okay 
so that it will be on the center of this image so the text is totally completed so next what we will do we will select the text and we will write down the website details at the bottom okay so suppose this is the website details for example so we will do it zero degree so we will change the color i'm just using the white so we will add over here like this okay but here what i'm gonna do i will go to elements in elements i will go for link okay like this this one is there so for this one also we are going to change the color to white i will decrease the size of it so that it will match with this one so just decrease the size and adjust everything over here okay? like this you can select both of them and group again it will be easy for you to move anywhere together like this okay so it is done we have added the website details if you need to increase the size just increase the size like this then here we are having the logo so we will duplicate it we will bring it to page number one and here we will add the logo but decrease the size of it a little bit and let's keep it over here like this again okay? we'll see everything is looking good or not at the last we can play with the adjustment if it is needed but it's looking obviously good so this is how you can create this design in canva so if this was helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more Canva tutorials and do let me know in the comments if you want me to cover any specific design next. See you in the next one. Till then, keep learning, keep growing.